I'm Anil Kumar and these set of videos are for my grade 9 IB student Joseph. Now we have taken few examples where we are dealing with slightly bigger numbers. Now the question here is to factor a trinomial we are looking for a set of numbers whose product is the constant term and whose sum is the coefficient of x. Now the question is how to figure out which number is positive, which is negative, and what is this positive-negative combination. So we'll try to understand that while answering these questions. So we have x squared plus 9x minus 90 as one equation. The other one is x squared minus 25x minus 84. I should say expression, and that's a trinomial, right? So we have two trinomials here, and to factor them, we know the strategy. The strategy is, for the first one, let's say if there are two integers p and q, their product should be negative 90. And when we add them, we should get plus 9. Now what we are trying to understand here, what type of numbers to choose and from where to start, kind of, right? Negative 90 product means we have opposite signs of two numbers. So p and q are of opposite sign. Adding and getting a plus means higher value is positive, lower number is negative. So let us say this is higher number, that is positive, this is negative. Opposite signs will give you minus, that is first thing. Second thing is that product 90, very easy to get 9 times 10 and 2 times 45, you can get many numbers like that. But how do you quickly get 9 as your answer, right? So 9 really means that the numbers are kind of close, they're not very far away. It's not like 2 times 45. They're kind of close, right? So that their difference is 9. One is positive, one is negative. Their difference is 9, right? So what you can do is you can try to factor 90 itself. So as we said that we could do, for example, 2 times 45, right? But 2 times 45, you know, it's a huge difference. Difference is not of 9, right? So we need to split this term further, right? So we can split this term to, let us say, 9 times 5. Now that gives us combination of 10 and 9. Well, 10 and 9 doesn't really work for us. So what we can do is we can further decompose 9 and kind of write prime factors, 3 times 3. Now we get a set of numbers to work with, right? If you observe, if you use these set of numbers, then 5 times 3 is 15, 3 times 2 is 6. We need higher coefficient positive for the higher number, so 15, right? So that actually works for us. So the numbers are 15 with positive sign and 6 as negative, right? So that is how you can get your numbers. Once you get your numbers, then you can easily factor. So we know this is equals to x plus 15 times x minus 6, right? I hope you appreciate it. The idea is product is negative, so the signs are different. Sum is positive. So higher number is positive. You see, that is the criteria. Now let's look into the next one. Here, we are looking for product. So let me write here itself. Product of these two numbers should be minus 84. Again negative. But sum in this case is also negative, right? That means higher number is, higher number is negative And lower number is positive. Is it okay? Now to get the factors of this, what we should do? We could see prime factors of 84, right? So let's try out. So 84. So 84 prime factors could be, let's say starting with 4, right? So 4 gives us 21. Well, that could be an answer, but we need opposite signs, right? So if I write both negative and multiply, I get positive 84, not negative 84, correct? Since the numbers are of opposite size, sum is negative 25, there is a number which is higher than 25, right? 
and that higher number is negative right so that is the whole thing so what we can do here is we can write 21 as 3 times 7 correct so now we get a higher number which is 7 and 4 28 28 is higher than 25 when you take away 3 you get 25 so that helps to get you the answer right so the higher number 28 should be negative the lower number should be positive and once we have the numbers we can factor and we can write down our answer which is x minus 28 times x plus 3 I hope the strategy is kind of clear to you right so I'll take examples two more examples with different combinations of plus and minus and that should give you full idea about how to select the numbers quickly and factor a trinomial where the leading coefficient is 1. Thank you.